Oh, good. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. No, you're fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Would you guys just be quiet in the background? God's oh. sake. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Artway Tony in the stable studio. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Good. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to these Italians in the background. I'm going to put the lights on first. So as not to scare you too much. Put your smoke on as well, please. I'll put my smoke back on now. So there we have uh, Mr. Mark Beckett, the gentle wood turner. Uh, we have Pete from Twisted Trees. Hi, everyone. And we have Mr. Mike Walt. From... Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this superb extravaganza of turning skill. <laughs> and, and then we can watch. Then we can watch Brian as well. So the so, so the extravaganza of skill is just finished. Uh, I'm about to start turning this piece of wood here. <laughs> if you must, this is going to go well today. As well as we just say, well, I can say, he only took his smock off 10 seconds before we went live. That's the first time we'd seen that shirt. Hopefully the last. And he's also, <laughs> he's, he's also got Shocking. those trousers on, just his boxers. Yeah. <laughs> I could have worn my Santa Claus boxers, but I thought, I thought better of it. Yeah, I, 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 brought, I brought this hat just especially for Mark. I find a lot of button errors. This is for Mark. Oh, it's so old hat, isn't it? It's so old. Hey, hat. Yeah. You could wear your three three though, Brian, instead of Mark's two two. Good news is this is all gonna be over next week. Yeah, that's yeah. it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Christmas that's the Christmas team finished. Let me just move this mouse because the last time I left it there it fell on the floor twice. So today, what am I doing? I'm gonna make a bell. Continuing the bell theme. So we had Terry turn a double-ended candlestick bell. I nearly said it wrong there, but never mind. Pop <laughs> you, you guys in the back, right? Again. I'll mute. Oh, jeez. Well, I think I'll maybe mute them as well, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, you're all right. Uh, please, welcome please. along. Welcome along, everybody. So I'm just going, this is a piece of magnolia that I've got. Oh, I better show you. This is a piece of magnolia that I've got stuck on the lathe. It's about five inches wide. But I want the bottom of the bell to be four inches. So this bell is going to have a little. So I'll rough this out first. And get it around. And if there's anybody actually in the chat, Mark, Mark or some, some of you guys can tell me who I'll there do is. It. I'll do it. Oh, oh I'll right. do it, says Mark. I'll do it. Yeah. Right, so we've got Chris Dodds. Lawrence Bicager, Terry Bartlett, Trevor P. Hobby Turner, Mr. Mike Walt, Robert Dolman. Um, Brian, Mike Walt hasn't got a spanner, by the way. Has he not? Rob, no, Robert Dolman, Greg do, Alexander. Do you want Mike Walt to have a spanner? This is the question. Don't yeah. give him a spanner, he's Welsh. <laughs> Woodwork, Lerner. <laughs> Paul Newton, the Greensby Turner. Um, bum, bum, bum. Where's Mike Walt? Going down has Mick won't even bother to bother to comment in the chat yet. No. He has Lewis the Klondike Craftsman, Steve Hale, uh, Terry Bartlett, Chris Dodds, Terry Hooper. I just there jumped in. Forking Owls, Steve Robbins, Wifey Woodshed, by Andrew, Paul's Woodworking, Brackets Plumbing. Um, Tommy's workshop. I think that's everybody. If I did miss you out, I do apologize. It wasn't on purpose. Don't listen to them. It wasn't purpose. Don't listen to them. Shut up, you. <clears throat> Get on with your turning. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Well, I'm trying to do it. Spindle Rough and Gage from Record Power. This piece of wood is wet, obviously, as you can tell by the shavings. Mike says, hooray, I'm now officially a spanner. Yep. To be fair, been he's a been a spanner for, a for quite time. a long time. <laughs> Just Robert, in other places. Robert Dolman <laughs> said, would Mike actually know what to do with a spanner if he got one? Ooh. No, Robert. I wouldn't, mate. I have no idea at Un all. Unkind. 
So on these Basically four inches, you can block people. Yeah, you can put people in timeout and stuff. Unfortunately, you can't put Mark in timeout. No, because we're also that. moderators. Can't get rid of Mark. Then I'll get rid of Pete either. No, not Pete. Want, don't Sorry. Want, don't, want to, don't want to get rid of Pete. Just want to get rid of you. No, thanks. Right, okay. Actually, we might get rid of what? Brian. Actually, we'll all have a good right. chat then. <laughs> a bit of a spiral there, Brian. Well, just, just work away there. Look at that lovely spiral, guys. It's wonderful. See, most people could only manage that with a skew, but Brian could do it with a spindle roughing gouge. Easy peasy. It's impressive. So I've just put a little bit of a shape in this with my spindle roughing gouge. Eat some of that timber. So you're just doing a single bell, you're not doing a double ended bell? No, this is a single bell. Okay. <laughs> Keep it quiet. Keep quiet, Walt. Steady, steady. <clears throat> It'll be a bell in the end. That's correct. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it'll be in the end. There's a lot of people oh. asking where, Who where is Joe and Terry. Terry is out with a friend who he hasn't seen for 20 years today. Yeah. Oh, Joe, yeah. Joe has a hospital appointment. Unfortunately, my hospital appointment was on was on uh, on Monday, so. So you had to come. I had to come today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just got to put a ten on this end. Square this end up and put a ten on it. Which one says, Brian, you're not doing the end of a bell, are you? Yes. Uh, and indeed, I am doing the end of a bell. Yeah. Aka. <laughs> Cut the steps out of there. Um, Joe has a social appointment. <laughs> Says Glenn. Glenn's in. <laughs> Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Uh, Hi, good Glenn. afternoon to everybody who's in the chat. Thank you all Neil for coming in, in on this oh, well. uh, Christmas Eve Eve. So we're going to do a mortise for the tenant on this one. The do, I need a for the do I need a mortise for a tenant or a mortise for a tenant for a mortise? Now you put a mortise in, and then you put a tenon in the middle of the mortise. All right, okay. Well, you could do, do an off-centre mortise. Do off you think that's mortise. a good idea? Yeah, brilliant. Anything for a laugh. <laughs> Chris Dodd says, I wonder if Terry's friend is a hobbit too. I'm sure, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's got to be somewhere close to a hobbit, if he knows Terry. Rob is showing us his typing skills with putting all their names. I'd still be typing Brian if I was doing that. <clears throat> yeah, I usually wait for somebody else to type a list and I copy, copy and paste it. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's, that's what you get for being a computer whiz. That's the wrong uh, button tool. And an artist. Does that work? Try that. <clears throat> And as Terry's on holiday again on Monday, I'm having some temporary internet installed and I'll be doing a live Monday lunch time. <clears throat> and it won't be, be a Christmas will. decoration or ornament. It won't be a blooming Christmas tree or anything related to Christmas. Hooray! <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you are a miserable sod. Yes. <laughs> I love Christmas. How tall, how tall do I need to make this bell? I need to make this bell. Roughly around three and a half inches tall. So let me just quickly get a pencil. 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 Pencil Washington. No, that's, that's right Denzel. Oh, that's, that. that's that's Denzel's younger brother. I'd Denzel. like everybody to notice that a Welshman has now been educated by a sweaty sock, which is an impossibility. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just put a little line in there with my skew. Well, a straight one or a zigzaggy one? Oh, just a straight one. Okay. Boom. And I'll just make these little beads. Oh, that's what they are. Smaller. I thought they yes. were tool marks. <laughs> well, they were beads. Uh, yeah, they were. <laughs> they're slowly diminishing in size. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be a bit smaller. I made them bigger on purpose just to, just to rough them out. Oh, right, okay. People are asking, Pete, are you going to make an Easter egg? Yeah, I might do. That would be a nice one, yeah. That would be really good. 
if I was properly organised, mm. I would have finished Fast Christmas person. stuff last March. And the Easter stuff, the next Easter, would have been done by July. Mm. But I'm not organised. And I'll be rushing around, turning scrap stuff into Easter yeah. eggs, probably on Good Friday. <laughs> and that's for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Brian, is this bell going to have a clapper? It will. Every... Oh, good. Finally. That shut you up, didn't it, Mark? Yeah. Now well, yeah. somebody's finally going to do one with a clapper. I didn't say I was going to do it with a clapper, but it will have a clapper. It's not cut uphill, it's cut downhill. Ed Oliver has proved the point. You can actually cut up ill. You can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Certain woods. It's like Pete says, follow the rules unless they're meant to be broken. That's it. The rules always apply except when they don't. Yeah. That's a horrible tool mark in there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that. I thought that was. Is Mr. Is Mr. Walt bored already? No, 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 <laughs> not bored. No, no, no. Perish. Lewis has just uh, typed in something very funny. He says, "The wife is at work, so I'm spray lacquering ceramic tiles on the dining room table. If you don't <laughs> see me in the next few days, please call the authorities." <laughs> <clears throat> There was your wife Afternoon. has uh, Fred access Gillivers. to high-powered rifles and bows and arrows. I'd be worried if I were you, buddy. Fred Gilliver has just arrived. Hello and Hi, good Fred. afternoon. And welcome, Fred. Hi, Fred. I don't think anybody said hello to Wivey either, or did they? Did you announce yes, Wivey's arrival? Yes. I did. I must have been sleeping. Sorry. That's all right. It's not like you, Mr. Wolf. No. It's not like you to not pay attention to anything I say. It's not like to pay attention to what anybody says. It's true. Very boring today, to do then? that. No. No. It's my alter ego in today. That's cool. We haven't there yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, Michelle. Be, that's too fun. Michelle Walt. <laughs> is, that, is that only at weekends? Michelle. Only on Saturdays and Sundays at Christmas. Why is that not working? Look at me cutting up, pal, there. Need to make this uh, ring a little bit smaller. Glenn said, horrible tool mark in Brian's turning. That concludes the news. Film at 11. <laughs> there, may be a, there may be a horrible tool mark, but it will disappear shortly. That's what sandpaper's for. And don't let anybody tell you any different. I'm going to wish I hadn't put these two uh, two beads in here now. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah. Because making life kind of difficult to get the bell shape to fall flow. If you'd you're doing, us, a, probably you're doing a good job, job actually, too. Brian, seriously. The bit you're working on now, just a tiny bit more, and that will follow in with the... Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's it. That should, that should yeah. sound all right. That follows snow, it follows through lovely, it really does. Spot on, mate. Got a tool mark there, I thought. Well, let's see, will like tool mark disappear with about 120 grit? It's 40 grit, really, but he just says 120. <sighs> you can write 120 on the back of anything. Yeah. 80 grit comparison. Might need 80 grit, actually. <laughs> That's not coming out. Yes, it is. This wood is uh, wet, as you can see. It just sticks to the. Yeah. We'll just get that little tool mark it's out, and that'll be fine. That is one tiny piece of abrasive you've got there, Brian. Yes, yeah, fine. Through. Don't want to waste it. Oh. See. 
No, no, no. Frugal to the last. Anybody think you didn't have any 20 meter rolls? Yeah. That, yeah, anyway, be, I, I didn't have any. Yeah. They'll be washed, scrubbed up, and I got on the washing line by three o'clock. It will, certainly. Yeah. No point in wasting it. No. Right, that's good. Agree. That's good. Just give that a quick run with 120. I'll tell you what, that's a lovely shaped bell, but it's a bit bulbous to your left, Brian. This bit, this bit. No, the bit, a bit further left. Oh, this bit. Yeah, that, that doesn't really look very good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be waste. That's okay. Ah. It's only coming to here. Oh, okay. So what we need to do now is put a tenner on, on this end. See, the problem is, Mike, he cleaned his bandsaw and he didn't want to cut the wood to um, get it dirty no. again. <laughs> That's not really my fault. That's just the size of the piece of wood that the... Yeah. Well, it is my fault. I did cut this up. All right. No, it was my fault. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> I'm glad, glad you appreciate that. So I just need to get this down to a size where it'll fit in my choke. Let's just try that. That's pretty close, I think. Yeah, that'll be close enough. Make sure the shoulder is nice and square. Which one of says, Brian, don't panic, but there's wood chippings on your floor and your lathe. Ah, oh, so there is. Jeez. How'd that happen? I'll tell you what, guys. Ever since Brian has been on the scene, I've been left alone about clean workshops and so on. It's yeah, wonderful. no, I got, I got all the abuse now, mate. What'd I do that yeah. for? Why, why'd they do that? I don't know. Oh, you, you, you three, why'd they do that? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to saw that off. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll just make a little. Yeah, you didn't need to do that. Yeah, I could have used my thin part to and part of it off, or you took it to the barn so. Yeah, but he just cleaned that, so you wouldn't want to mess it up, would you? But uh, it's it's not that. You could take I'll it over to. Just release that a bit. Take it over to Pete. See, he'll, he'll cut it up on his bandsaw. Okay, I'm not over there. Yeah. Just joined. Hi, Douglas. Hi, Hunter. If I pass that to you, Pete, will you uh, cut that? Oh. <laughs> 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 Hi, Hunter. Yeah, I'm not over there. Right, thanks, like, that's, thanks for that, Pete. It's back from Pete's. There we go. That's brilliant. It looks a bit like a capstan, doesn't it? Not full strength, but one on a boat. It does. It does. It's got to be magic, see? This has got to teach, teach you how to turn a capstan into a bell. Not, I'm not teaching you anything. I'm just having fun here today, guys. We're just having fun today. Well, you might be. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I'll I'll take take this, Barry has joined. Bye, I'll Barry. take this jock off my Bye, Barry. Oh, I might have made that too small, that town. Will that make any difference if it's too small? Yeah, ask Mike. He, he's done that a few times. <laughs> no, I, I go minute, Pete. Oh. When in actual fact, there's nothing left at all. Where is that? Yeah. I might have just made that. I'll tell you what, that's looking really good, bro. I, I'm, I'm very impressed with how that curve is following through those two tool marks. Uh, two um, <laughs> 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 Oh, move that tail stock out of the way just for a second. Doug, Doug because London's I want to put a mortise in the bottom here. And Todd and Ben Cove Woodworks. Oh, beat you to it. Sorry. Right. Let's see, can we get mortise in the bottom? Hi, Todd. Mortise, how big is the mortise? How big is my mortise? The mortise we needs to be... How big is 42 my mil. Mortise? 41 mil. Let's go at 40 mil and then we can test fit it. I don't really want to say it's the it's that important. You've got 34 watching now, Brian. 42 mil. Yeah. Perfect. It's 34 people ain't going to get the next 45 minutes back. Todd at Glencove Goodwork said, a quick question, does Mike abuse his passage like this? Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it was involving me. Yes, of course I do, Todd. <clears throat> And they yeah. wouldn't have it any other way. And we, yeah. and we keep inviting them back to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Drop that down just a fraction. It just proves how desperate you are. Change boy. that camera to there, maybe. That'd be better. Yeah, that's good. This is Simon Hope, 3 eighths spindle gauge. Don't you just love turning wet wood? Yeah. I do. It's fun, fun, fun. Mm. Great chance. Thanks very much, Todd. Todd has just said it's nice to involve the elderly in your activities. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> may, um, I, I won't say what I would normally say to that, Todd, but I think you have some idea of what's going through my head at this precise moment. <clears throat> and it's not nice. I think there will be a four-letter word and a three-letter word, word involved in that. I think Before it everybody of... gets excited, it's goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. So just a little mortise in there, so as I can, uh, <laughs> so as I can remount this, so as I can finish the bell end. Excuse me. <laughs> you heard that what I be, said. Surely that should be convex. <laughs> Not mm. this end. The other end. Mm. Mm. What Rock Lennon is asking, Brian, what tools have you asked Santa for? I haven't asked Santa for any tools. Oh, no, that's a lie. I did ask for a new... Um, I, as you know, guys, I have quite a selection of Ryobi tools. But my little multi-purpose tool, you know, the one that kind of... The vibration saw you uh, mean? Uh, vibrates and... No, not, 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 no, no, not the multi-tool. The little one that vibrates with the small blade on for cutting uh, skipping boards and stuff like that. Yeah. The split. The reciprocating. Reci is it reciprocating? No, that's, there is the reciprocating. So this damn thing, this thing. Yeah. That, this one died. So I'm, I've, asked, I've ben, asked for a new one. Benjamin and Rex B are both here. Oh no, two of them at once. Oh, no. Hiya Ben, hiya Rex, welcome. Rex says, Brian, I notice you've got Mark's sticker on your lathe, but not Mike's. Intentional slip. I don't think Mike has stickers, do you, Mike? Mike has no stickers, I don't think. Douglas has just said, Todd, you have to remember the old need to see this to remind them how it's done. Ooh. Thank you, Douglas. I've always had a high respect for you, Douglas, but uh, that has just gone out the window. Today. <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. today. <laughs> yeah, that's gone. I knew we were going to say that. <clears throat> okay, right. I'm going to say it because maybe somebody else is as well. I'm confused, Brian, as how you're going about this. Are you? Yes. Okay, be confused. Well, I've put so a turn you... on this end so I can mount yeah. it on the chuck. Yeah. So as I can finish the bell and put a yeah. mortise on the top end, the the purpose for which the purpose for which you will see in a minute. You will oh, be enlightened. Okay. See clever you clocks. Will be, you will be enlightened. Okay. You, just 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 checking. You you, you tell him. Oh, a drop. <laughs> Brian, don't Brian, don't drop you. Ring drop ring. You see, if I was going to be putting in a candle on the top end and cutting a mortise for the candle. With a liner, yeah. then yes. I would have yes. just cut that and put it on the chuck. That's because the liner would cover up any uh, bruising the chuck does. That's exactly what's going to happen, Pete. Just Doug give me a man. Douglas has said he might be older than me. But I'll tell you one thing, Douglas, that might be true, but the son that bought me Oliver's wood turning vouchers for my birthday won't get much older because he's told me not to spend them yet wait until I get my Christmas present, which could possibly be even more Oliver's Wood turning vouchers. I mean, that, <laughs> that, that, that kid must really hate me, must hate the ground I walk on. Yeah, you do know that um, Oliver's uh, Wood turning will not be honouring vouchers after Boxing Day. Yes, I know that. And he did. He did. He didn't honour the ones I had last year either. <laughs> Can't believe that from Mr. Oliver. Yeah. I got him on eBay now, anyway. 
Rex B said he's dismayed that Brian isn't wearing one of the colourful smocks. Rex, if you go back to the beginning and see the shirt he's wearing under that smock, then Love your colorful. eyes will be assaulted enough. <laughs> Look at him. I can see hey, my eyes from here. <laughs> Happy day. I knew I shouldn't have read that out. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what you get. <laughs> Tom says, Mike, don't buy green bananas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was also told not to try and get hard boiled eggs. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> yeah, that won't do that. No, nah, don't go uphill. Oh, this has to be a lot smaller yet. Oh, not a lot. Somewhere about there, I'm thinking. Well, you should spend any vouchers you have quickly, just in case, you know. <laughs> Woodwork Learner says, Mike, you should spend any vouchers you have quickly, just in case, you know, older at risk at the moment. Thank you. Got a point. Yeah. What one Paul's in? Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Tool mark. Not another tool mark. Yep, let's get rid of the tool mark. I'll turn it into a bead like you did with the others. Forty watching now, Brian. And that is cutting uphill. Yeah, and you were very successful as well. Oh no, I need to mark the size of this. And yeah. Ah, uh, see, see, Mark. I see, see now. I see, see now. now. I see, see now. now. We do. We see. We see. We do. Oh, we do. Oh, we be buggered. Oh, are. You can't see that. It's not nine o'clock yet. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? I thought well, it was it's somewhere well, it's, well, it's two I nine o'clock in the day. Nobody said to which one. No, I just, I just I, thought we yeah. got into Boxing Day. It got gone into Christmas Eve all of a sudden. No, this is Christmas Eve. Eve. Quick question from Douglas Mungum, which is now retracted. That must have been derogatory. No, I think he typed it wrong. Well, quite possibly. <laughs> so we'll just flatten this off at the top now. Hiya, Doug. Doug Miller's Doug, in. Doug, Hiya, Doug. Doug Hi, Doug. In. I think I might have to drop the two or less just a fraction. Yeah, there not on your toe. I don't know about the rest of you, but I had my Christmas dinner yesterday, so I'm good. Very no nice comment. It was cooked expertly by me. Am I on the right corner <laughs> there? Not Rex sure says, I think the tool marks are intentional, so when he makes the funnel, everyone will cheer. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Douglas was asking how your eyes are doing, Mike. Yeah, they're doing pretty well, thanks, Douglas. Well, the one is, I've got an appointment for my other one on the 20th of January, if you're interested, which I'm sure you're not, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Which unfortunately means that Mike will be back live at the end of January. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. end of January, beginning of February, and Pete says he's fully booked until October next year, so, yeah. <laughs> and, that, and I've rashly volunteered. <laughs> yes, and I just totally ignored his volunteering offer. He did, I. He yeah. says, yeah, surplus the requirement, thanks all the I'm, same. I'm not giving you an opportunity to get back at me. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd have to post my uh, pit crew shirt to Brian because if Mike does his lives at weekends, I can't really hear where I'm at weekends. Well, I could change it, but it's, you know. Next thing we need to know is how yeah. deep this cup is. So let's measure that. Brian, is your hand back to 100%? Yes. All right. So that's not the excuse for the poor turning today then. What's wrong? What? <laughs> <laughs> Mark Harvey's in. That's a new name. Hello, welcome Hi, along, Mark. Mark. He says says he's a newbie. Good man, Mark. Welcome along, buddy. Hi, Hope hello, Mark. To to my channel. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the channel, Ish. Yeah. Welcome along, buddy. Let us know where you're from. So, oh, that's a deep. So, oh, no. Yeah, let yeah. us know where you're from. We, we can take the Mickey. Sorry, go on. Tell us, tell us a bit about yourself, with your experience, and where you're from. 
What's your favourite food? Is he a newbie just... turner or is he just new to the channel? And well, I don't know. He hasn't said. Um, and whether you're sensitive or you can take a ribbon. Oh, I know. Stop. <laughs> ben Jammer has said the guy turning on screen is a newbie too, Mark. That's not very nice. That's sad. Uh... Very true, but not very nice. So right for Ben Jalen, of course. I just need to yeah, reposition yeah. this in the chuck because it kind of moved a little bit there. In fairness, he's a relatively new turner. Two years, I believe, Brian, isn't it? Two years in February. And he's got some amazing skill sets. A natural apart ability. Keeping, apart natural from keeping ab things in the chuck, you can't do that. <laughs> nat natural ability. Oh, you don't need to do things like that. I've proved that over the years. <clears throat> I'm just using a 10 mil beading and parting tool just to take out the bottom of this. I could have used a fastener bit or something. Bah. Yeah, that required putting it in the chuck and stuff. Rexby, I've lost. What's the metal piece for? It wasn't a metal piece. I think it was a candle. Uh, a candle. This, bit, a this, cup. Bit, here, this bit here, Rex. It's, candle, it's a cup it? for holding the candles. It's a candle yeah. cup. This is a. This is going to be a bell candle holder, uh, oh, yeah. decorated in Christmas and sort of a Christmassy theme. Black. <laughs> yeah, black. <laughs> Rex, in this country, we if you make a candle holder, it has to have a metal or glass container to yep. contain the candle. Can't have candle straight to wood. I think that's in most countries, actually. Well, I don't <laughs> know. Other, I, yeah, I don't know about yet. the regulations yeah. in other countries. Yeah, if you're selling you know. it, you mean. I mean, if you do get it home, you can do what you like. You can... If you're but... making it for yourself, yeah. Yeah. doesn't matter if it's a little bit too, uh, too deep because the rim on the cup will sit over the edge anyway, so uh, and it will be getting glued in. Eventually. Mike Yorkshire Kid says Mike rarely keeps his project on the lathe. Never mind the chuck. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this is of course true. Yeah. Mark Harvey says, thank you. I'm a noob to turning three years in. I've all, I've all been on when I get yeah. the chance to pop in. He's from Worcester. He's a carpenter. Oh. And we're all becoming his heroes. Here, was that heroes or heroes? Sorry, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, speech impediment. Heroes. Oh. Welcome, Mark. To mock the afflicted, Walt. Welcome guess again, what, Mark. Guess what I've just done there. I've stuck that in He's there. a carpenter. Probably knows more about woodworking than all of us put together. Well, flat woodwork, yeah. This is a bit, this is a mate tight. As well, I have spare cups. Well, I tried to do a dovetail. I couldn't get the blood stain out of the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> yes. Don't cut your hand off now, Brian. Try my best. The edge of this cup is a bit sharp, I have to say. Darling, maybe you should use a skew for that. Not so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, cool. that's a it's tight it's fit. That's a, that's a pop fit. That yeah. shame is not a box. <laughs> See, even clean agrees with me. That's a job for a skew. Yeah. Great minds, <laughs> Clint. Great minds. Great minds, thank you, Lake. You could use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's sacrilegious. He, he um, abuses a skew. I'd be tempted to uh, just... Okay, uh, well, maybe... I've got one or two. I'll be all right. I'd be tempted just to widen that out a little bit there. Uh... I'd be I'd be tempted to do exactly the same same thing, Mark. That's no, what I what I what I do is get a, a a set of pen jaws, put the steel bit in, and sand it down to fit. That's a good idea. Sand the metal down to fit. Mark Harvey says he's currently building an oak framed long, long barn at the moment. And he's off for a Christmas break. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Nice. There's no to show off, Mark. Try that. Show off, show off some mouthy people aren't welcome here. Oh, is there? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got one in the chat, and they. <gasps> yeah, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, behave yourself, <gasps> mate. <laughs> Say nothing. Hey, that's it. that's as much as you get now. Just check for the depth, and <laughs> Mark says sorry. That's all right, Mark. We're only kidding, mate. 
flash git. You could use his lathe to turn down the oak pegs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the framing. Just a little bit That'd more be depth. Nice. What's we making a box, this? Todd says you learn a lot of things here, and in brackets, things not to do, that is. That's true. Well, yeah. that's always good if you learn something you shouldn't do. It's amazing how much hair Brian, hey. uh, Brian's actually got on top of his head. Yeah, no, I'm just going to. Not so much at the back, though. No, no, but the front, the, the tops. I'll have a bit of your top, if you don't mind, and you can have a bit that's of my back. That's fitting mm. better, Brian. That's just not deep enough. No. Unfortunately. Oh, good, well, Glenn. Well done, mate. What's Glenn done now? His Facebook portal set up. What's a Facebook portal, then? Have I got one? <laughs> no. 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 Oh, no. No, if you're sensible. Right. It's a camera no, that follows you. your face. Can you suggest a source of tea light holders as only ones I've seen at one pound forty each? eBay. Um, I'll tell you what I have. Uh, I don't know if you're interested in that. I got a lot of glass ones, which you you know when you buy the um, candle tea light candles with a little aluminium foil bit at the bottom. Yep. If you buy the glass <laughs> holders, you can just slot those in and change them out as you want. Yeah. They're quite. They're quite That's cheap. Bad, I'll do that. Trevor Reed, I use the it, glass right, ones. Trevor? I use the glass ones, and I played about sixty p each for them when I bought them. Bought well, the box. glass ones. Yeah. Well, yeah, quite they can't. They... The shape that now. No one's interested in that. We're talking candle. All right, sorry. Brian. Oh, sorry. On you go. Can you just well, move you, yourself? Please. You work away there. I'll <laughs> 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 I'm just go and have a drink of tea, will I? Well, you have a chat. I, I should. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Mark, Mark H, are you using telephone poles? Telephone poles? Glenn, Glenn said, uh, from Yorkshire Grit, said, I got glass ones from Ikea, very inexpensive. You see, Glenn has got such a command of the English language, where he says very inexpensive, most of us would say cheap. Pretty cheap, yeah. Yeah. I should have finished that. Good doing? question what from Rex B. Doing? Brian, is this candle bell for someone or the church? It's for nobody. It's for nobody. It's just for you guys. And the badge man today, Terry, is on holiday. So I just need to finish this end. So we'll give it a little bit of sanding. So do you mean if Terry was in, you'd have done a proper project today? Yeah. All right, okay. In a proper project. <laughs> oh, the cheek of thee, Mr. Walt. Let's put the extractor on. Not that there's a whole lot of sawdust coming off of this, it's sticking to this sandpaper. I need to sand this up to 400 because we are going to decorate this. If we've got yeah. time. I've been I've been uh, picked up by Glenn. He says cheap implies bad quality, and these are good quality. Okay. So they let's just do this by hand. It'll be quicker. Okay. I'll tell you where there is a good source is uh, Carwin Way's website. <clears throat> What I candle holders? Yeah, I believe he sells them. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, he sells a lot of that sort of thing. Woodwork Learner says IKEA is over 70 miles away. You can get them online, though, um, and I don't think they charge a terrific amount for postage. Or even Amazon. Amazon's always a good source, I think. Brass, yeah, Commonway sells brass tea light holders, £1.30 each. Yorkshire Grit is inexpensive. No, you, you're you just being very derogatory. I don't know. That, you just said that inexpensive means quality. No, I yours is definitely cheap. Yeah, yours is definitely cheap, Glenn. 
Rex B, quick question. With this being new wet wood, will this inhibit the painting or whatever else you do nope. to it? Not no. the time I'm finished. I'm just going to use my skew just to put a definition line in there. And there. What Sorry. Go on. Hmm? What Brian means, Rex, is by the time he's finished, which could be about three months, the wood will be dry. <clears throat> It's a valid question, actually, though, Brian, if you're, if you're painting on wet wood. It is, yeah. Um, yeah. It's not advisable. No. To paint one, on wet wood. One little tip for doing this sort of thing, if your wood's a bit on the wet side, run a torch over it, blow lamp, scorch the outside. It'll um, sand much easier because you'll dry that top half a millimetre that you're trying to sand. And as you're going to paint it anyway, the fact that it's scorched... Won't matter. Won't make any difference at all. But Brian's not allowed to use blow torches anymore, so. My pleasure, Glyn. Rob has just said a question for me again. My, how long has it been since you've turned anything? It's been three months for me. It's been about eight weeks, nine weeks. So I have had the lathe on and done a little bit of spinning, but nothing, nothing, anything major. Right. Here's the link. Finally. Uh, Common Ways website where you can get the brass <laughs> candle cups. <laughs> Sorry, Woodwork Learners just said going to IKEA was her she her at her friends over Christmas. Mike, do you know what friends mean? No, I don't actually. Is it Andrew, Woodwork Learner? Yes, no. yes. It is Andrew, yes. No, Andrew, I don't. Do you like being called Andy? Andy? Um I don't know what friends mean. superfluous from my vocabulary I wonder what was blinking in my eye but it's my Christmas lights <laughs> yeah they're annoying get rid of them nope yeah. oh you can next week next Let's week you can yeah back to normal next week no you're not supposed to take a, not supposed to take them down until 12th night yeah take mine down whatever I feel like it Mike oh well, <laughs> that's typical of you Brian yep just just, just cock your nose. You, you, usually about the end of January. Mm. <laughs> there we go. That's, oh, that's a wait. There was one piece gone. Right down the extractor. That's not dried yet. What is that? A little bit of accelerator. There we go. That's, that should be sanded enough. Well, it's getting painted anyway. Now, I really want to uh, go on. use some. <laughs> I'm going to put some uh, ebonized, or not ebonizing lager, some acrylic sanding seal, some chestnut products on this. So I'll turn the lathe right away down, nothing. Put it on nice and slow. A bit of a shake. And the advantage of using a critic out of there, out of a spray, is it dries much quicker. Is Probably that not so. right? Is that Probably right? so. Yep. Put the extractor on again for a second. <laughs> Another little. And that should you, seal uh, that enough as be able to put the paint on it. Yeah, you actually use less sanding sealer doing it that way too. Probably so. Yeah, normally, but the way Brian sprays it on, that's not the case, Mark. I didn't use very much at all there. Yeah. No, no, no. Just a little, just a little bit. We'll just give that a second. Just give that second or two, just to flash off a wee bit. Benjamin is saying. What got you into saying, turning, then, Mike? Sorry. Doctor Smugham's asking, "What got you into turning?" Uh, watching Brian actually, because I thought I could bound to be able to do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's how I started watching. Yeah. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what oh, a serious question? Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what got me to turn in? Um, just randomly watching um, my good friend Carl Jacobson doing some duck calls and a few bits and pieces, and I, I wanted to I wanted to turn something and uh, was going to get <laughs> one of those drill lathes. I haven't finished yet, Roy. Just shut up. Um, Sorry, that's okay. No, I won't go on about it. And then that's it. It just just I just got hooked then. 
basically. And you thought, I know, I want to be rich and famous, so I'll start a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, right. Just, <laughs> and I, I, I ended yeah. up poor and infamous. <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody's got a fire engine going past. No, that was a police car, actually, I think. But anyway, whatever. So I'm Somebody giving this a coat of black, um, ebonizing lacquer, just to give it a dark background. That looks really nice, actually. Ben's adding his... Uh, Ben's adding... Says he's adding a webcam to his Simon Hope Halloween jig today. Mm. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Right, now will be enough of that. Get the hairdryer out and give that little assist. Seeing as how I'm not allowed to use hot things, I'm allowed to use a hairdryer. I'm not supposed to like to know how to um, get a decent video of Halloween. Of Halloween, yeah. It would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oops. Mike was the oh. second person I ever watched on YouTube. The first was a proper turner, was it? No, the first was RJB Wood Turner. Does all the all right, yeah. in America. Yeah. I'll tell you Mike what, Douglas has just said, Mike, but you, you are a famous colorist now, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rex Bees asks it's just a good question. How are you going to get the black paint off that chuck now, Brian? Easily. The wire brush. Meth. Wire brush. No. Meth will get it off. I think run a wire brush, it'll be gone. Or a brass brush, whichever you prefer. Then how do you get um, the paint off your uh, bristles on the wire brush? You turn it on the chuck. Douglas just don't mention masking tape. I've just bubbled the paint. Too close then, Brian. Too close. <laughs> 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 nice one, Trevor. <laughs> Go on, Mark. I'm you absolutely no good with hot things. I shouldn't use no, hot no. things at all. <laughs> Trevor P. Hobby Turner says, Mike was one of the first turners that I watched as well. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Trevor. At least, I know, at least I know you've got some common sense. <laughs> now, the weird thing is, I worked in computers all my life. I started wood turning when I retired from that. And I didn't even think to look on YouTube for turning videos. It's only after lockdown that uh, somebody mentioned, oh, it was uh, Martin Saban Smith, actually, yeah. doing a live YouTube. And I went and watched that. And then I started looking. And realized Woodwork, learners, it. Woodwork Learners asked a very, very good question. This is the same question that we asked the other night in a hangout. Brian, why do you not have more subscribers? I have no idea. Because you won't do as you're told. He's That's Scottish. why. We've told you what to do. <laughs> he goes like this. He needs to push his channel forward a bit more. And I think people in the chat would agree. Todd at Glen Cove would work. Says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Someone, I have to look at that because I just made a complete balls of putting that pin on. Take care, Todd. Yes, Todd, have, have a great best, Christmas. Mate. Yes, Todd. Have, Mike, a, have a good Christmas, buddy. See you That's in the new it. year, hopefully. Made a complete ass of putting that on. Did. Yeah. Just a bit. You made pretty much a bit of an ass of taking it off, too. No, it's fine. It's fine, fine. It'll be grand. Yeah, Trust Liz has made me. a good point. Everybody in the chat should be telling everybody else to come and subscribe to Brian. Well, if you haven't subscribed, it would be grateful if you would. I passed 666 <laughs> clubs of rebels. 666. Okay. Oh, so true, Ben. Ben says, what has the ben question said? is, why does Mike have so many subscribers? <laughs> 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 oh, Ben. How because true it, that is, Ben. I'll tell you what, Ben. The, the, the truth of the matter is I started when there was very few other people on YouTube. I was lucky. If I'd started now... It wouldn't be, believe me. It's just longevity, mate. <laughs> I, I want, I want to know why Mike talks so much. 
And why he's been quiet for the last sort of five minutes, I don't understand that. Yeah, when Mike started YouTube, you're supposed to out with a stamp on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, take a picture of it and send it off to people. <laughs> uh, Glenn uh, said that's an interesting finish, Brian. Yeah, it's not really. But we know what he's into that. We're not finished yet. Yeah, I think yeah. I know what he's hinting that to, but sure, never mind. Four hands. It's, on, it's only a demo. So now we're going to do some, uh, we're going to use some of these. Space dust. Ooh. So we Love have it. some, these are the shifter, the shifter range. And we have, uh, what colors are they? That's gold, old gold and gray violet, whatever that is. Electric blue and intense violet. Orange and violet. Green and blue violet. Bright gold and brown. Gold and brown, and texture red. like sun. Oh, right. Lays me gold down with go. my manchi rose. Yeah. Throughout the night. So these have got a little ball in the bottom. You need to give them a little shake. And I use my gravity fed brush. And we'll just put a little dot of these in. See that? I'll just put a few drops of that in there. Don't know how much I need. And I'll use this little board. Change camera. To change camera to that. I'll use this little board. That I've got here just to see if I've got anything coming out of there. Uh, Lewis has a question. He says, so, tiles and newspaper I can make disappear before the boss lady gets home. Suggestions for removing the lacquer fumes. Appreciate it. Light a candle. Yeah. <laughs> Open the window. Light, light a candle. The house will either blow up or the fumes will go away. Well, either, either way, the fumes will be gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One works more dramatically than the other. Yeah. Oh, very funny, Clint. It's, yes. it's, it's called a flash solution. Now, don't use scented candles. You'll think you've got another woman coming around. Yeah. <laughs> You'd definitely be in trouble there. Or there's also the option, Lewis. Tell her your son came round and he did it. I don't know, what colour are you guys seeing? There? Sort green. of green. That's very effective, actually. Right. Not good for that. Jennifer's Craft and Creations is in. Good afternoon, Jennifer. Also Hi, Jennifer. Really. Let's put a little bit extra on the bell. I made a complete mess of that bell, but never mind. Could you explain the silver colour when the light light changes on the curve? Could you could you explain for the non colorists like me why a black base? The black base actually helps the colours of the light reflect off the paint. If you have right. a clear uh, white base, it doesn't reflect. Okay, thank you. Bailey. See, I can ask a sensible question occasionally. No. What other colour I'm going to use? I think I will try the blue. Uh, it's asking, say. is it a dual tone paint? It is, yeah. It's, uh, uh, it changes as you move the camera. So if I go to that camera, it's different colour. Oh, yeah. 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 That's very, very impressive. So this time I'm going to use uh, electric blue. An intense violet. Where'd you get those from, Brian? Those colours? Uh, I bought these from Amazon. They're a Amazon. company. Um, yeah. They're just a, acrylic spray paints. Okay. Uh, called Space Dust. There is a whole range of them. Uh, the company, there it is. There's the box. All right. All right. That way you may see it better. I was going to say it's the Australian company. That's the box there, guys. So if you just uh, if you if you actually Google um, or go into Amazon and type in space dust, surprising enough, it comes up. Once you've got the box in your hand, uh, well, but Ernest suggests you should read the instructions, Brian. 
<laughs> why? <laughs> well, I don't know is why, because I haven't got it, so I don't know what it means. Uh, is there instructions? You just spray it on, I think. I think the idea is just spray it on. Well, it's certainly working. I suppose, with, as with all spray paints, just put it on lightly. Don't go too mad. It dries pretty quick, I think. So, we need Next to because I'm going to turn this around. All it Sorry. Yeah, black paint. The black absorbs the light and allows the paint that you put over the top to reflect. Whereas if you use the white, it just absorbs all the light. That's my. Michael. That's my. That's my theory. Jennifer calling me Michael. My goodness. You must be in trouble. Yeah. Uh, you're definitely in trouble, eh? Oh, she that. calls me. My dear old mum used to call me Michael when I'd done something wrong. Michael, come here. So I'm just using a bit of warm water to rinse out my brush when I'm finished. I like that colour combination. It looks really good. Uh, move, Jim. So I've just put some water. What I've just put some warm water in there, and I'll just spray it into the, the into the bin <clears throat> for a minute or two. Tip out the remainder, blow out the nozzle, and give it a clean out with a tissue. Brian, have you got a Basically, manufacturer's? Brian, have you got a manufacturer's name for those paints? Because yep, if you if you type space dust into Amazon, okay, you, you might get some. All right. Um, no, they just don't come up. Well, they don't. Maybe they stopped oh. doing them. There. Manufacturer's name. <laughs> ah. Vallejo. V A L L E J O. So Victor Alpha Lima Lima Echo Juliet Oscar. Yep, got him. Okay, that help you out a bit. Yep, got him now. Right. So that's all I'm doing with the spray paint. Just so I can put the link in. And the last bit I'm going to do on this, before I have to dry it all. Oh God, not more. Uh, yeah, I have to do it. <laughs> I want to do the gold bands on here. So for them, I'm going to use Joe Sonia Gold. That's flow medium. So this will be Joe Sonia's iridescent gold. Yeah, and give it a bit of a shake. Uh, where is my small brush that I use? Chris Dodd small, said... Small he, brush. He thought his name was Oh God when he was a kid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice one, Nearly Chris. too much, on it. So, turn the lathe on. Change the camera, Brian. Go. Change the camera, Brian. Change the camera, Brian. There you go, mate. There you Thank go, you. mate. Thanks, thanks, mate. There's on. So I just want that middle bit to be gold. Yeah. And take it over that edge. Right, folks, here's the link for the paints that Brian choose in from Amazon. Can't take credit for finding these. Uh, I first seen these. Um, it was Wayne the Woodturner that used them on a project, and I thought they look interesting, so I bought some. Mark Stratton's in. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. All right, so that should do that. We'll just let that run for a second, and I'll clean my little brush somewhat. I do like those colours. They're nice. They are you very good. Nice. Guess that, Mike. They're yeah, sure. I, I think, think I know. Shelf next to your other colours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can see it sitting there for yeah. three years. Put them on the shelf. Yeah. yeah. I did use them. Uh, I've tried them earlier on another couple of little projects, and they are pretty successful, I have to say. Mm. Fred Gilbert has got to go. Cheers, Fred. Hi, Fred. Cheers, Fred. Cheers, Cheers right. buddy. Merry, Merry Christmas to you. You're going to miss the finished project, but no matter. Hey, You're lucky. You for, you. Lucky, lucky for you. Yeah. <laughs> Beat me to it. 
That's not unusual for me. Just coming up to the hour right now, Brian. Thanks, Matt. So I just want to try and give us a second or two to dry off because I'm going to hollow the inside now. Go on, Mike. Go on. No, no, go on. No, go on. Glenn says, I like the way you smudged the gold over the blue. Very rustic. Lord. You like that, is it? It's a practice piece, guys. Don't panic. If I was doing this, I would take my time and make sure it was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just showing you the technique. No, I haven't yet, Rob. I haven't and nothing's yet, unfixable, by the way. So if you made a mistake, just go back and fix it. Yeah. Chris Dodd says it's Christmas Eve with him now. <laughs> I don't know what you mean there, Chris. Well, he's on the oh, yeah, he's in world, Australia. He? So it's yeah, tomorrow. Chris with him. Australia. Oh, okay. I thought it was Christmas Eve here, actually, as well. Christmas Eve Eve still. Eight hours to go. It's Boxing Day for me. I had Christmas yesterday. Mark Stroughton has arrived. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Welcome along, buddy. You're not yeah, listening to that me, Bob. Ten minutes ago. Well, I was sleeping again, Pete. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching paint dry, yeah? Oh, 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 so dry. See, ha, ha. So funny. Let me just throw that over there out the way. I got six hours of video of paint drying. Now we're going to try and No, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> I remember when Pete did that. That was hilarious. <laughs> I just the workshop, got distracted and didn't get back in. Just Turn left the off, camera yeah. running. <laughs> well, the paint, the paint is re relatively dry, but it's not quite dry, but it's relatively dry. And then open that up again. Just keep turning until you hear the first crack. That's it. I don't actually need that great big tool rest now, do you? Let's use a smaller tool rest. So, let's just try and turn this. Yeah, it's not quite in the middle. You might want to speed that up a bit too. Yeah, no. There we go, it's better. Do you have turnings in? Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, yeah. Chris Dodds has just said, That's welcome the to the future. That's the wrong camera. See how far in I am now. Yes, Mark, it is. He's got paint all over his chuck. Copy and Ed Oliver. I'm using my small uh, small depth gauge today. All oh, right, yeah. so I make you one. Oliver. Send it to you. It won't go down this hole, Mark. You made the. Uh, oh, right. Too big. It's too big. Too big. Bet it will. Bet it will. I don't know. I don't have a depth gauge. Still oh, waiting. Don't you start either. Does somebody mention depth gauge? Look, the next one I've got to make is for Glenn. I'll do. Let's try and hollow this out now. Yeah, it's only because he's jumped the queue by paying more. <laughs> My primitive. Workshop just has a stick with a pencil push through it. I mean, uh, Rob, yes, they are very good. He's asked, Rob's asking, you've got one of these sets, haven't you, Brian? The mini hollowers from Simon Oak. I have. 
Are there any good following small spheres? I will, sh I will show you in a second. He's asking, are there any good following small spheres? Christmas yep. ornaments? And how small can the goblets be? They're excellent. You um, be, sorry. Yeah, they are good. So I'm using this this uh, ball gauge or ball gauge, spindle gauge, just to get this this edge so it's nice and uh, nice and fine or finished, if you like, just to get down past where I've made these rings on the outside. Where the toe marks are, where? <laughs> Uh, these big tool marks, yeah, that's the ones. Yeah. And now I'm going to use the Simon Hope hollowing tool. And in answer to your question, Rob, if you do it, the, the opening um, could be, if you've got the swan neck as well, you could, you could normally hollow, I would say, about 12 to 15 mil. Oh, just great. measuring mine. It, yeah, I would say 15 mil would give you some space yeah. to work. Yeah, well, the shaft is 10 mil, so you'll need to be at least sort of 12 to 15 mil. Yeah. At least. But I, Give yourself a little bit of room. But a little word of warning, Rob, if you're hollowing with that small an opening, always make sure you turn the lathe off before you take the swan neck out. Yeah. And as they say, don't ask me how I know that. Yeah, or me yeah. either. Look out over Christmas for a exploding piece mm. so easy done it's just starting to get a bit noisy there now because of the overhang of the tool but that's as far as I want to go in anyway so I just tied up this edge now whoops careful Uh, the reason I'm getting a catch there is because, because, let me show you this tool. That's the tool, that's the cutter horizontal. And I had the tool far too uh, close to horizontal. What I should have done was rotate it over to about 45 degrees and then run it down the edge. And that'll get me the correct cut then. If anybody in the chat can answer that question for... Andrew, that'd be great. So I'm pretty sure I'd I don't know. Have a pen blank mold if you make one out of silicon rubber. No idea, I'm afraid, Andrew. Uh, kind of. Um, a bit thicker than the maximum <laughs> width of the blank, I'd say. Let me just have a quick look in there. I, I would say that to give you the full flexibility, you you probably want to go to. 28 to 30 mil blank. You can cut anything out of that in the way of pens. Two, two people to look would be Zach Higgins and Jake Thompson. They've both done videos on making pen blank molds. Be careful look there. Their channels. Hi. Roy the boy's just arrived. Hi, Roy. Hi, Roy. Brian, you've got something dangling off your camera, bud. Oh, so I'm it's Christmas. It was a shaving. Hi, Roy. Lucas Munkin was asking, do wooden bells ring? No. And Webfoot Resin and Wood Creations has just joined. Good morning. Douglas, I'm sure you, surely you've heard Hi, of that great, Chris, that great Christmas song, Timber Bells. <laughs> Timber bell. So I'm just going to try and finish the inside with this little scraper. Ringing. Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, I just had to. Wow, Mark. <laughs> That's all I can say. I, I'm wow. just aghast. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. This is as much Christmas spirit as you'll get out of me. Right, that'll do. We'll just quickly give that a bit of a sand. Doesn't need very much, you'll never go see it. It's going to be inside the face. Mm. 
Mark is currently thinking, where is the clapper? Yeah. Shut it, senior. Never has his flapper been so gusted. He used to have a lovely singing voice. Oh. Vote to Glyn Senior. My workshop is now a toasty 17 degrees, thanks to my space heater and as much smaller space than you've got. Su surprise, surprise, uh, Mike. So is yes. mine. 17 yeah. degrees exactly. Uh, well, it's it's obviously the optimum degree, isn't it? Seriously. Yeah, mine's a comfortable 11 and a half degrees at the moment. Yeah, we are a hard boy, aren't you, Pete? Well, I've got yeah, jump on today. So. Roughy toughy, mate. Yeah, I've got the heat on, didn't Just give me a little bit of back, background warmth. That's not very nice, is it? Yorkshire gets says, I hate you, Walt. <laughs> not well, to be fair, I... I agree with him. I hate all of you with your poxy, <laughs> poncy heaters. <laughs> Mick Walt was my first. Never again, says Mark Harvey. <laughs> I'm getting really. Okay. I'm getting really <laughs> slated now. Well, that's good, though. Saves me. Just think, Mike, of all the cherries you popped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, don't tell all my ex-wives, will you, please? David Eisenhower is in. Hi, David. Hi, Dave. Ed. You can tell that I'm not an international colourist. Yeah. Like, my, like Mr. Walt is, of course. Of course, yeah. So now, the only thing I need in there now, guys, is a small um, mortise, which I will do with a Jacob's chuck. Here's one I prepared earlier. What? I need a I little six want... mil, six mil uh, mortise in the bottom of this. So we'll turn the speed down. Six mil is not really a mortise, it's a hole. It's a mortise. Is it mortise, yeah. we're gonna put a tenon into it. I'm going to put a tin in it. So a little six mil hole, just about five or six mil in. Oh, good yeah. God, if we, we got an hour and 12 minutes, it seems like three. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, Walt. Oh. And some Yorkshire grit. Who, who invited You're, you anyway? Yeah, I don't know, I, I just gate crashed. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Yorkshire grit. Is that any good then, this York? What is this? What is this word they speak about, Yorkshire grit? Uh, I have no idea, <laughs> but I'm supported Watkins by him. In... So am I. I am You're supported, supported by, by him. Uh, yeah, what and I actually, I actually love it. What he makes Yorkshire grit. Look, there you go. Oh, Yorkshire grit. See? Never seen that before. Then why is there no <laughs> label on the white one? Because uh, you don't need sunny seal because you've probably done the sunny seal already. Probably. There is logic to that, yeah. You only need sanding sealer because if you're using the microfine, you want to have used the original first. So you will have sanding sealed before you've used the original. Now, next thing. Take this out of here. He's always got an answer. He has, yes, I do. Clever bugger for a jock. Pop that in there. And you will be pleased to hear that's just about the job finished. <laughs> because I, I tell you oh, what, I, uh, there's, there's, uh, sorry, I'm there's in. there's the uh, oh, wrong place, wrong candle. So there's the candle. Ooh. But if you just I give like, me a second, I'll pop my table up here. I do like those colours. You don't like the colours, or you do? I like do. Them. I said I do like them. I said, oh, oh, I'm do. serious. Yeah. I do. So if yeah. I go to there and then there. And oh, drop this yeah. camera down a little bit. There. Yeah, that's brilliant. So there's the one I've done today. Where's the clapper? And there's a little bit in there. Now, this is the, where the clapper comes in. This is one I turned yesterday. Huh. Almost because identical. It had, because, yeah, almost identical-ish. Uh, there is the clapper. So it's a stand. And this piece in here is measured to be exactly the right size 
We've been there, and if you look at it from, I need to get the right angle for Down you. Down a bit. Down no, a bit. I'm going to go to this camera. If you look at it from that angle. Down a bit. Down, 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 down. There's the down. clapper. Now I want to show you this bit. This, this bit here. Okay. That's the clapper, look. It's uh, really good. That's very yeah. clever. See what I mean? So that, that's your yeah. little candle holder. It looks like a bell that's up off the ground. Let me go back to this camera. So there, it kind of looks like a bell. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So this one will get a stand as well. Put the one you made today on the stand you made yesterday. It might not be the right size. Oh, it may not be the right size. That's not too bad. There you go. Yeah. That's good. It looks really that good. Works. I might pinch that idea. I dropped it on the floor. Oh, there it is. Then next Christmas. A lot of ben says he's really liking those blue chuck jaws. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Glenn still there? Do you want me to show you how to clean them? No. I'm not going to show you because I, I I'm not going to show yeah. you because I use a wire brush and Glenn hates it when I use a wire brush. It goes bonkers. Andrew has just said they look really nice, Brian. Shame you ought to have Mike tell you how to do them. They could have been so much better. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez, That's terrible. Andrew. That's absolutely terrible. I'll tell you what, really good, uh, uh, Brian, whatever your name is. Really good. Yeah, Fred. <laughs> Just, yeah. Obviously, we have to say, because otherwise YouTube get all funny, be very careful, folks, of having an open flame in a woodworking workshop. And the fire extinguisher is just right in the corner there, right beside it. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's what it kind of looks like with a candle on it. And we'll try and put a little bit of light on. There you go. Oh, it's just Very a little nice. bit. That's, that's nice. brilliant. Excellent. Well done, mate. Like that. Really oh. good. Put the lights back on again. In fact, we'll go to this view first. There we go. Oh, God. Timber <laughs> <What? bands. laughs> so that'll get white, eh? Take my, take my smock off so you can see my Santa Claus shirt. <laughs> oh, dear. Timber bells keep flying. Just uh, blow them out. Go to there. Oh, I'm, I am there. Let's me bring them. <coughs> Let's bring in these <coughs> gentlemen. I'm still having difficulty finding the right word there. <laughs> so this is what this is the one we done today with this little stand. You can't really see the stand unless you can, if you're sitting down. If it was on a table and you were sitting down looking at it, you can see the it has a little ball end on this. So it looks like a clap. Very clever, that. It's excellent. That's the, this is the one it was designed for. So it's slightly higher up. There. Oh, look, against my bald yeah. head, you can see it. It's a little ball. There you go. That's the idea. There we go, guys. That's the little project for today. Thanks to Mike for coming in and earworming, causing me, giving me my some pleasure. abuse and causing problems as usual. Gotta keep you in Pete from Twisted Trees, thank you very much. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, and, everyone. And Merry Mark, Christmas to everybody. And Mark from the German Wood Tunnel. Right, so Merry boss. Christmas, everybody. You, everybody. Well, I hope you have a great day on... Uh, saying it. <laughs> yeah, he won't say it because he's a bad humbug. But that's fine. He's allowed to be a bad humbug. I don't believe it. Yeah, uh, Christmas. Christmas. I'm going to have a good Christmas. I hope every one of you have a, has a good Christmas. And I'll see you all again in the new year. Probably Monday. Cheers all. We've got, with we've got Pete from Twisted Trees on on Monday. Yep, I'm doing a live Monday lunch time. And I will be with on Monday evening. Credit. Look forward to seeing you then, guys. Thanks very much. We're off. Bye, Bye. everybody.